everybody. Welcome to day two of our Tennessee adventure. And today we're going to Kentucky. Fried we're, chicken. <laughs> Dork. We're headed up to the Mammoth Caves to go do some... Cave dwelling Spelunking. stuff. Spelunking. We're not splunking. <laughs> That'd be cool though, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go on a cave walk and we will show you around the park that's gonna be up there and we will take you in if we can. But I don't know how much um, reception we're gonna have and I also don't know how much um, you'd be able to see. But we'll try. So here we go. On our way to Kentucky. Yeah, uh, so right behind. Hi. Hi. Oh, I get. Hi. Huh? Uh huh? Huh? What? Hi. Say hi, Daddy. Getting ready to go down into the cave today. So yesterday we saw how Jack Daniels was made. So now we get to this, we can see some historic caves in Kentucky. A little bit different than we did last year. Same idea, but. Same idea, but different routes. So how Carson yep. was made, Jack. No, we don't want to see how Carson was made. That's just not cool. Watch your head, Ty. The whole time. <laughs> So we're in Mammoth Cave right now. <laughs> we just went down like 200 and something steps. 283. Yeah. We're and so, as you can see, it's a little bit dark down here. Uh, very, very uh, large chasms. Woo. Had to turn off the camera because it was too slippery. We had to turn off the camera because it was too slick, as you just heard Nicole. There was very, uh, as we were transiting, going down the steps, coming into the cave. Of course, being underground, it's very wet. And you can see, see the big areas, like over here. And with it being wet, it makes the, the metal railings very slick. And of course, going down a set of steps, it probably what 100 feet 200 foot no uh, we're underground but there's like a 200 foot uh, basically a big hole in the ground that we're already in and so but we'll give you some more updates as the tour goes on I right, talk to you later so this is a little bit of what we're transiting my head hurts as you can see, it's very, very small. I don't know if you can see the steps. They're very, very close together. I'm not missing 
skipping it because it's too hard to get. Yes, well, of, course, of course, Tyler is here. He needs to keep ducking because in his six foot three frame, if he does it, he'll he'll knock about two feet off right at his head, and then it'll be headless Tyler. So instead of ice cream man Ty, that joke will make more sense later. So, but we've reached bullet. Little area. It's nice. Flat, no more steps. So all right. So there's another area that we've made it into. It's a little bit flatter. We're towards the beginning of the group, so it's probably gonna be another five, ten minutes before the rest of the group catches up with us because it took us a while to get down. And so that was kind of hard to see all this, but uh if you want better pictures, just go ahead and uh, Google them. Man, this is just a bunch of water. Running from above us. So now, we're about to go down 50, 50 steps. So hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit more of these formations. I know it's really dark, but it should be uh, a lot of fun. Well, we're just about to the end of our tour. We're somewhere probably around, uh, probably about 75, 80 feet below ground. Yeah, maybe 100. But the deepest place we were at was 250 feet, 70. 270 feet ish. And now we're getting ready to go see a bunch of the uh, like stalagmites, the like type formations here. Uh, so here in a few minutes, well, three seconds for you guys. Uh, you're gonna see some formations. See, there's just rocks. But, uh, see, that's just pure darkness. So here we're going down. It's about 50 steps down. This is what's called Frozen Niagara. So it looks like a big frozen waterfall. They're like said that these would have taken thousands upon thousands of years to form. Here we're almost at the bottom. And you can see here, it's so dark. We'll, uh, we'll be adding in some still pictures. Hopefully, the, the picture quality comes out a little bit better. <laughs> People are using flashes and aren't supposed to. Back up at the very bottom of these. Right around 130 feet or so. And so hopefully everyone enjoys the pictures that we've added in. If you're ever in Kentucky, I would highly recommend Mammoth Cave as a place to go. I think it is. I was just asking. Can I spit down there? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why? There's plenty of pee and poop in there already. Oh. Say hi. We made it. No? It's so hot. Thanks. <laughs>